Good morning, this is Matt Sexton with the Florida Department of Transportation's CAD office. Today I'm going to run you through a real quick overview of the new QC process involving QC project and project validator. I have a project here, 4347221501-CAD, that was delivered from District 4 as part of the 2018 QARs. I've done a little bit of cleanup on it. I've removed the thumbs DB files that get generated by Windows, and I've checked for a couple of duplicate file names that I knew were there. But effectively, this is the project as it was delivered. So we can expect some, potentially some errors in QC because it is an older project. And like I was going to say, is um, we're running a select series project. So I'm going to demonstrate the QC process in select series 10. As you know, select series projects are not compatible with f.connect and OpenRose Designer. I don't have an f.connect project to demonstrate this with at the moment. So we're going to go through this in the select series, but effectively the process is the same. It's a little different because in f.connect you'd open up the blank file DGN, which we, we generate for you. In this case, we're going to do something slightly different. You'll notice I do have a project properties XML. There's another video if you want to know more about that on how to contact your district project manager or district CAD manager to acquire that project properties XML if you are a consultant. You do have to be connected to the FM system to generate the project properties XML, and you can only do that if you're connected to the F.network. So outside consultants will not be able to generate those XMLs and will have to request those, or they should be delivered to them. First thing I'm going to do, like I mentioned, this is going to be in select series. I have opened up in f.ss10 a file that is outside of my project. It's a GK lines file in a different folder. This is important. You don't want to open up one of your project files to run QC project. If you do, the project file will be modified during the process and the QC project report will be invalid you'll get a report error that says that the file that you're in was modified since the uh, QC project report was run. Same thing is if you go into a file after you've run the QC project report, it's going to modify that file. And as a result, it will show up red in Project Validator. So I've opened a file outside of my project. I'm going to go to Actions, Quality Control, QC project. What this does is it opens all the files, all the DGN files in your project and runs QC on them and compiles a text report. It's a lot like the old QC batch, except it's for the entire project. Really simple dialog. It has a browse button, a field that will show your project path, an OK button and a cancel button. Fairly self-explanatory. I'm hitting browse. Brings up a Windows dialog. Since this is a select series project, I have it under E projects. There's my project 4347221520 CAD, and I select OK. Because this is an older project, and QC standards may have changed a little bit along the way. And also because some of the data in the files may have changed along the way, I may get some errors from the QC inspector process, but I'm just going to ignore those errors during this presentation. It shouldn't cause a problem. I know that in certain cases we had a landscape project that had some exception files in it and a few other things. And I don't remember exactly what it was about those files, but it was causing a, a lot of errors during the QC project process and we could not get a good QC report. Project Validator was not even loading a, a, a report. But we've we fixed that um, with a fix in select series. It will, it will not be a problem in, in Connect. But just a matter of note, if you're using an older version of select series 10, you start seeing an error running QC project. That's a possibility that that's related. Let me know. As always, you can contact the CAD office by emailing cad.support at dot.state.fl.us. That's C-A-D-D dot support 
at dot.state.fl.us. You can see there's about 222 files in this project, so it's going to take a little while. I know there are projects that are much larger, and they will take some amount of time. Okay, when the QC project report process is done, the dialog will dismiss itself, and it will display the text of the QC report on the screen. You don't want to save this. It's already saved in your project folder. You just want to close this out. And because we're in a file that is outside of our project, we don't need to worry about anything about saving this or it affecting the project. If you notice now in our meta info folder, there's a QC project report right there. Again, don't open it and save it, just leave it be. And now, either in the f.ss10 desktop folder or in the Windows menu, let's go to Project Validator. This icon is also located in the f.ss10 folder on your desktop. I'm launching this here. Project Validator is the replacement for File Checker. It works very similarly to File Checker. It's a little bit more intuitive. Project Open is the only option. I'm going to browse to our project. I've selected the project, 43472215201-CAD. Selecting OK. It's going to automatically find that QC project report. And look at all that green. This project is great. Oh, except a few things. So we have a UTEX RD that's not located in the correct discipline folder. That's easily remedied. We have a few items that are below 90%. Now I could speculate that some of these files that are below 90% would have previously passed, because as you recall, we had critical and non-critical files. And some of those non-critical files only needed to be 80% compliant. So it may be that someone has an 85% compliant file, and now that everything is required to be 90% compliant, there's no critical and non-critical files. It's all critical. And instead of 95%, it only needs to pass at 90%. It may be that some of those are non-critical files, or were previously non-critical files in 2018. We've got some invalid file names. Some file names have actually changed since 2018. That's likely to be the cause of some of that especially GTEC file names have changed. And then you'll see a bunch of white files here. They're neither green nor red. These are just files that are not checked by the QC process. Be like EDI CFG PLT CFG uh, and EDI key sheet. This project was obviously delivered using the EDI and PEDS process. It is an older project from 2018. So that explains that. We got some PDFs in there, some summary tables that are Excel files. And because it's not read, it's, you know, don't worry about this. This is just, by the way, this is an informative that we found this in your project, just to let you know. The red files are the ones you need to look at. I don't see any that say this file has changed since the report has been run. And that's because we ran the report while inside of a file that's outside of the project. Next, you just select Create Report. It's going to open up a browser window displaying your HTML report. Note that this is the path to your project. This file is already saved now in your project folder. You don't have to save it again or anything like that. You can just go ahead and dismiss it whenever you're done. And that is the new QC process. Relatively easy, relatively intuitive. Now that you know these tips and tricks and what the messages mean, you can go ahead and run QC on your project. If you run into any problems with QC, anything unexpected, please feel free to reach out to the f.cad office, cad.support at dot.state.
.fl.us. That's CAD, C-A-D-D, dot .support at dot .state.fl.us. Thanks for joining me today.